very good Saturday afternoon to you. And yes, it's a uh, actually quite a late Saturday afternoon. And uh, obviously to make a video, very unusual for me, as I usually do them in the mornings. Um, I've been having some health testing today. Um, new developments, so I will keep you up to speed once I know what the hell's going on in my body. Um, the weather here in Manchester today, a bit um, nondescript really uh, calm grey skies not much wind not much of anything really quite a boring day um, the thing I want to talk about today quite an interesting one um, over the week I, I kind of read um, a number of different articles um, on the web regarding watches watchmaking the up-and-coming Basel world and so on and so forth things that hopefully will give me some form of kind of inspiration to make these for you guys uh, and this week I tripped across an article that kind of really opened my eyes regarding one of our favorite manufacturers or not favorite manufacturers by a certain section of our watch community which is Rolex um, now the article um, was actually from the Singapore Business Times now I don't know about you but I don't find myself reading the Singapore Business Times that often but this actually stood out to me now to show you um, the uh, the actual article itself I've got it loaded up on a, a tablet so I can actually show it you uh, and the the headline says it all which is that now as we're well aware um, certainly things like the uh, Batman GMT and certainly the Hulk um, authorized dealers here in the UK are charging ridiculous prices for the real popular models but from that article which I've read Rolex themselves have been in touch with authorized dealers in Singapore telling them that they should not and indeed cannot be charging a premium for popular models now I don't know about you but I think on this occasion Rolex is to be congratulated it certainly shouldn't be the case that ADs can charge anything they like if you or I wander into one of their shops for a, a, a Batman or a Hulk they just shouldn't be allowed to there should be a, a price which is the retail price uh, one that's issued worldwide from Rolex and then that's transferred into sterling or dollars or Aussie dollars or uh, euro or whatever it is and that should be the price and the, and the ADs shouldn't be able to hold us the punter to ransom which is exactly what they're doing and this appears reading the article that this um, practice should I say has reached the ears of Rolex themselves in good old Switzerland so may I say congratulations Rolex if you are doing this in Singapore can I ask you to do this worldwide and can I ask you specifically can you do this right here in Blighty good old Great Britain where we it appears to me are being held to ransom by your ADs which are forcing people like myself and perhaps other people to go to um, grey dealers or to have to pay over the odds on certain models so well done Rolex I do hope that this is your new uh, market strategy that your authorised dealers cannot have free range to skin us alive um, certainly the, the normal man in the street people like me who save and save and save and save to buy a watch which is six grand I mean six grand is hard enough to come by rather than a premium being put on top of that just because a particular model that we like is popular so well done Rolex I, I sincerely hope and I salute you for hopefully taking on board this ethos and making sure that your ADs are not taking advantage of having one or two models in the Rolex range which are outselling everything else so as I say that is from the um, Singapore Business Times so if you go to their 
website uh, and you type in um, Rolex and premium prices, I'm sure you'll find the article if you want to read it yourselves. I think it's a great thing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, other than that, I noticed a couple of you have subscribed. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, not got back to you yet, but I will do uh, over in the next couple of days with my customary well, well, welcome note. Um, nothing really much to tell you. I've um, been out today and collected a parcel, um, which is really all to do with my trip to Basel. Um, and I've got myself a clip-on uh, microphone so that the hopefully the quality of sound um, that I'm going to make my videos for, because as I said, my idea is to make you feel uh, as included uh, as I can to my visit at Basel. Um, I'll be wearing this and uh, carrying my phone around or whatever on a, a selfie stick, as it were, so you'll be able to see everything that's behind me as I'm walking along. And hopefully, with this little beauty, you should be able to hear everything I say, regardless of what noise is is going on in the background so that came today i'm delighted that that came so that's something else that's uh, now been dealt with for the little trip to switzerland um that's it for this one people by all means let me know what you think about this what seems to be a uh, uh, radical uh, policy change by rolex let me know if you've heard uh, anything more uh, about this, whether you've heard it happening in other countries other than Singapore. Let me know if you've heard anything happen about it right here, right here in good old Blighty. Let me know. But I think it's a great idea. And if it if it is going to be thrown out there worldwide, well done, Rolex. Well done. And I will shake you by the hand when I'm in Basel uh, later this month. So that's it for this one, people. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.